today's video is about build settings specifically for iOS when you're building for Xcode 10. Now the build system with Xcode 10 has changed from previous versions. If you're building a Cordova app, you need to be aware of these changes and it make sure that you've got the right information in the command line when you're trying to launch your app. So I've got a pretty basic application that I've got right here. Doesn't matter what the application is, it just it is a Cordova app. Now, if I want to launch this, I'm just going to close this so I've got more room here. If I want to launch this inside of the iOS simulator, what I have to do is run the command Cordova emulate iOS. And that on its own be great if that was enough, but we also want to specify a target because we're using the emulate command, which means we want a simulator to run. So we have to specify which one it is. So I'll say iPhone X with iOS 12.1. Now, it'd be great if that was enough, but there's a brand new setting because of the changes that have come into Xcode 10 and those have not been reflected yet in the build system for Cordova yet. So we need to add a build flag here. So we're adding a build flag and we're setting that equal to the string hyphen use modern build system equals zero. So all together, all of that, if I run that, that is going to build my app prepare it and launch it. As long as I've got iOS SIM and iOS Deploy installed properly, and I can do that through NPM and NPM install and make sure that I've got the right settings for iOS Deploy. Now I can launch this and this is going to work for me, but I don't always want to have to, let me just quit this. I don't want to always have to write that whole thing. So if I clear this off, that whole string, I'd like to at least take part of this and put it into some settings. Well, luckily, there is a settings file called build.json. You can create this file inside of the root folder, same place your config.xml file goes. Right at the root of your project, create a file called build.json. Inside of there, there's going to be an iOS object. You can have an Android object. You can put settings for Android there as well. But these are pretty much like the... Um, commands you do on the command line. The build flag, there was the one that we wrote. So I just created this file manually. I typed out all these commands. The development team, this is the ID for the team. If you go to the Apple developer website, you're logged in there, you've got an, uh, an account created, you'll be able to find your team ID. You can stick it in there. I'm doing a development, not a release build. That's the package type that I'm doing. Automatic provisioning, this means I want to take the mobile provisioning profile that I've downloaded, have that applied so I can do this on a device as well. If I do iOS run, or sorry, Cordova run iOS instead of Cordova emulate iOS. But this is what will save me. This bit right here inside of this file is going to save me having to write this on the command line every time I want to test my app. All right, so I will put a, a copy of this I'll put a little message in here to put your own key in it, but this is the file that you need to create, build.json, right at the root of your project folder, and it'll save you some time. So I hope that helps you out, and as always, thanks for watching.